Welcome back, everyone. College classes in Central Texas are moving online for the rest of the semester. And it turns out that that is a good thing for doctors and nurses in Central Texas who are treating people with COVID-19. KXAN's Chris Davis now joining us to explain why. Yeah, good morning, guys. So there's a big problem right now in hospitals and clinics. You've probably heard about this. There's not enough personal protective equipment or PPE to go around. These are masks, gloves, gowns, goggles, things that keep health workers safe. So researchers and professors around the Austin area think they've got an answer. About 6,700 Austin Community College students took biology or chemistry classes this semester. That's a lot of labs and a lot of disposable gloves. Which students won't be on campus to use. Our rough count last night was that we had about 65,000 disposable gloves to donate. Plus gowns, masks, and other PPE. All of it will go to local frontline health workers. ACC got the idea from Houston Tillotson University which said it was working with UT to round up PPE that students wouldn't need. Definitely in any lab on campus, you'll, you'll find tons of gloves. No one's on campus to use the equipment. So dozens of UT scientists are collecting and donating not just PPE, but chemicals and instruments for more COVID-19 testing capabilities. Much of the research on campus has been closed down. So being able to help is something that's actually, I think a lot of people are very grateful for. Texas State and St. Edwards universities are also collecting donations from science and medical departments. This is a time where we all need to take care of each other. It'll be an adjustment for professors to teach hands-on classes online Line, but the reward is less risk for their graduates. You know, ACC has trained many of the nurses that are out there on the front line, so we're happy to be able to do this. So in addition to all of that equipment, UT also offered up some of its students to local companies making and shipping COVID-19 testing kits. More than 100 students, I'm told, took the opportunity to help. We'll send it back to you.